Now, Way 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Grace Anello with 31 Triple Doppler. Well, Grace, we know that the ground is still saturated from all the snow and ice that we've right. had over the past few days, but now we know that rain is coming in to make problems even worse. A lot. It of is. Rain. Yes, up to four inches in 24 hours. Mm -hmm. And this is a difficult time of year because so much of our vegetation is dead. Right. You know, when we see a lot of rain in the summer, the grass absorbs it, so do the trees. Mm -hmm. At this point, those things aren't absorbing very much water, so it's more likely to sit on top anyway. And with four inches, wow. it's just going to make some, probably some flood of roadways. Yeah, it's going to be a headache. Well, it's nothing to be concerned about, but it is plenty to be informed and prepared for. So let's go ahead and get to that. This is the system that I'm tracking. You can tell it's a doozy tracking into northeast Mississippi, but really stretching from Cincinnati all the way down to Houston. It will be making its way into the Tennessee Valley before too long. Right now on 31 triple Doppler at 517 this morning, we're just seeing a touch of rain. Really, it's just some isolated drizzle right near the state line. However, we're going to see significantly more of that in just the next several minutes. We do have a 31 alert day in effect for this reason and because of what we just talked about with Chris and Demetria, the ground unlikely to absorb very much of this moisture at all. That 31 alert day starting at noon, however, the rain starting significantly before then. All right, now let's take a look at this base in Rocket Center, but let's analyze the way 31 Skycam Network powered by Thompson Roofing and Construction. Notice that our flags are not billowing. The system that's coming through today is a cold front. Out front of cold fronts, we have something called a gut front and it's almost a natural precursor that warns us to what's coming behind which would be storms and rain and plenty of gusty wind notice that our flags are not billowing in Madison County that means the gust front has not come through yet and we're still several hours away now this is just one of our counties others of us are already starting to feel that but at least in Madison we've got a few hours before we start to see the heaviest of that rain 59 degrees in Muscle Shoals 57 in Decatur and 52 in Gunnersville right now now. Don't let these temperatures fool you though. We are feeling damp and gloomy outside and especially to west of the corridor. We're already starting to feel a touch of that breeze. So you'll want a jacket today, not the gloves that you wanted last week, but definitely a jacket. We'll continue to see some isolated drizzle through about eight o'clock this morning. And then we start to see our real system pack a punch in the shoals around 10 a.m. Now look, as it travels from Muscle Shoals to Athens, it becomes significantly more linear. But I do want to be clear, we are not watching this system for severe thunderstorm potential. We're watching it because of all the rain it's going to bring. It will be mostly just rain with one or two embedded thunderstorms, but primarily rain. Now that was at 11 a.m. that we were in the shoals. It's just making it into Huntsville, Decatur and northern Coleman at 3 p.m. So a four hour difference. That trend continues as it pushes into Sand Mountain, just making it there by 730 this evening. And that's where our flash flooding threat lies because it's taking taking so long for this system to get from one end of the state to the other, and it's already bringing torrential rain. That means it's just sitting on top of us, bringing rain on rain on rain that our ground is going to struggle to absorb. It starts to kind of calm down overnight, and then it gets rejuvenated with diurnal heating or daytime heating first thing on Thursday morning. So at 630 when you're waking up on Thursday, rain's in the area and it's here to stay. Several rounds of on and off showers stay with us through Thursday afternoon and even later into the evening. So get your rain gear out today and plan to keep it with you tomorrow. By noontime, temperatures will be in the low 60s and then we'll sit in the mid 60s for our high temperature today. That 31 alert day in effect today, a caution day tomorrow as a result of some potentially ponded roadways remaining and plenty more rain on the way. However, Friday when we're getting ready to start the weekend, we'll have some isolated drizzle, but nothing more than that. Now Saturday morning and afternoon, we do have more scattered storms in the forecast, but then we'll clear up on Sunday and stay that way for several days. Now we'll see a dip in our temperatures. However, we'll have more sunshine and that certainly is going to be a blessing. Mm -hmm. I love seeing the sun. So I love it too. too. <laughs> I do have a question. So we yeah. have all that the snow and ice and yes. it melted and became right. water and now we've got all of this. At least if we're trying to look at this as a glass half full situation, yes. where does this put us with our drought? So that's going to help our drought significantly. The latest drought outlooks come out on Thursday, so that's something we'll be able to check tomorrow after we see today's rain. Okay. But I wouldn't be surprised right. if this completely diminishes or close to diminishes that threat. Just looking for the Good silver news. lining I on know. this Good 31 alert day. Our sweet Chris. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Grace. Thank you.